In order to see how well this subwoofer works with a set of small speakers, I actually had to purchase a set from Amazon. These were $14 and they are small and they sound it. The low end is advertised to go down to about 103 hertz, which is not real low. But they represent a low cost computer speaker option, so it's actually a good match for the sub project. I'll give you a listen to some music without the sub, then I'll mix the subwoofer in so you can hear what it adds to the overall music presentation. Although this is not a super low playing subwoofer, I'd actually call it more of a woofer, hopefully you were able to hear the fact that it did help add a fullness to the music and fill in the low end fairly well. Here's an OmniMic sweep of its frequency response to compare it to the original simulation which we did in WinISD. I'd say that's fairly close. If you didn't watch the original One Day Build video and you want to see how I got the specs for this driver and how I worked through the process and navigated the trade-offs for designing the enclosure in WinISD, here's a link to the original video right here. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.